what is going on my friends welcome to the white sandy beaches of florida on this gorgeous morning me ancients pulling the golf cart down the beach i'm making him pull the golf cart this trip oh i could have helped okay well there we go we are on our way i just gonna fish straight off the beach here and see what we can catch this morning before it gets busy this beach will be absolutely covered with people in a few hours so we're gonna try throwing out a few lines I wonder what he's doing just I guess I didn't know yeah I didn't know that happened actually just cleaning up the beach I guess funny thing is I see a piece of trash right there yes that's what I'm wondering if he's just skimming it out see my dad just picked it up there's a piece of trash there so that's why it was confused to me I was like well that didn't <laughs> work but maybe normally it does pick up the trash so the thing that's cool when the water is like this is when you do have schooling fish or fish running away from a predator or whatever you can see it real easily uh -huh. that's kind of a fun visual in the morning so I think my dad's gonna be on top water duty this morning. Last time we were here, we caught someone on top water. That was actually that really was cool. Fun. All right, my friends, in here I have a cast net. I'm gonna try to catch some live bait and use that. It'd be great to get a big red drum or black drum or something like that. Hopefully that got something. Oh, he got a little white crab. Huh. I frosted him in sugar, sandy sugar. Look at that little white crab. Hmm. That seems like that's good bait. And, you know, folks, I've been seeing a lot of uh, crabs here at this beach. They'll, like, grab onto the your baits and stuff. I'm wondering if I should take a piece of chicken and go crabbing in a little bit. So, fish on the cruise. Oh, yeah, got something. Got a little something. Ooh, this is good. As long as it's not a pompano. Oh, it is a pompano. Dang it. <sighs> Shoot fire. It's a little pompano. These have to be a... Uh, can't use these as bait, I'm afraid. They're pretty little fish, though. Got another something. What do we got? Here we go. Here we got a little croaker. Look at that guy's little croaker there. And another one. This is excellent. Look at that guy's couple pieces, a couple little croakers right there. Sweet. Alright guys, as Asa mentioned, we're throwing the top water. It's got some rattles in it. Let's give it a huck here. Got something messed. There we go. <laughs> right away. Got one right away. Oh shoot, it got off. <laughs> They're bad shots, that's for sure. It's such a beautiful morning out here. There we go. There we go. Ladyfish, that's what they are out there, a bunch of little ladyfish. I didn't even hook this, I mean I snagged this one. It's a fun fish though, they're fun fighters. There we go, cut that one off. Sometimes you gotta vary your speed. Oh, there's a dolphin. There we go, got him. Let's keep him on this time. Here we go. <laughs> Number two. Is that a ladyfish? A little lady. Huh. I'll use I'll use her as bait. I'll use her as bait. Which sounds kind of weird to say out loud, but got a red crab washed up on the beach there. Oh yeah. I see why I caught a white crab in the cast net, a little oh, one. Yeah. Um, I, I think I'm gonna get some chicken or something That's for later. Like, man, we're yeah. <laughs> Breakfast right here. All right, my dad caught a little ladyfish. Sweet. All right, here we go. 
I saw on a YouTube video a tip where a guy said bring a rubber mallet out there with you. So it just makes it way easier to put your rod holders in the ground. Guys, guys, check it out. There's a dolphin right there. Like a bunch, he's looking, going around. Oh, he's attacking some fish. Pops, you, that's where you cast right there. Look at that, guys. Look at him. Oh, that's, man. You know, that's, you just got to keep coming outside, guys, because you never know what's going to happen. Some mornings, look, there he is right there. Some mornings, you come out and not a whole lot happens. And then some mornings, you come out. See dolphins and stuff like that right by where you're fishing. All right, I'm gonna grab the biggest one croaker here. There we go, my friends. Sweet. Just one way to know you're in the right spot when the dolphins try to take you out for it. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That that attacker. You yeah. saw the dolphin attack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you looking for with that thing? Uh, what are you looking for with that thing? Shells. shells. Okay. All right, I got my first piece of bait out there. All right, beautiful sunrise, fishing rod out. The live fish, just wait for that thing to double over. And then on the other rod, I'm gonna take one of these lady fish and kill it real quick. And nice chunk right there for the heavier setup. Oh, you got another one, nice. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's hooked him in the front and the back. Wow, yeah. So I think one more piece of bait will do because I might I might use these for crabs later. Oh, there you go. All right, guys, I've got on mine a uh, chunk there. Let's throw this out. Ladyfish chunk going out. That sounds really wrong. Got him finally. What is this? Oh, it's a ladyfish. Well, that's annoying. Eating my bait fish. A bait fish eating my bait fish. All right, guys. So here's what we've got going on. We've got a Sabiki rig, six hooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, with one ounce sinker. There we go. Oh, got it right in the middle of a bunch of stuff. That's for sure. <laughs> that was cool. There we go. Got a fish. Another little lady fish. They're fun to find. Oh, it looks like we might have multiples here. <laughs> this is a kick. Look at all of them. They're going to totally destroy this rig. Dadgummit. That's the only trouble with this. We got five, Asa. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Well, one got away. That's all right. These are uh, these. That's a needlefish there. Oh, that's a houndfish. Is that a houndfish? Uh huh. Is that a yeah. needlefish? Uh, yeah, it's a needlefish family, but it's actually a houndfish. He's he's got really some of the sharpest teeth you right. can come across. Now, will you put him back in? Yes, ma'am. Is that a ladyfish there, though? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I don't think I've ever caught five at once. Really? Wow. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah, I'll rinse them off real quick. Oh. It's got some major teeth on him. He opens up his beak. It's part of like the needlefish oh, wow. family. Yeah. Jeez. That's awesome. Shreds, shreds a thousand minnows a day, I think. Really? <laughs> so, come on, open up, bro. I called. Sometimes they'll, they'll actually turn and try to bite you when they get real big because they get like four or five feet long. And we've caught them before and they'll turn around and try to bite you. We oh have gosh, a video of it. I know uh, these it's ones. Because really? uh, they'll have a beak that's like a foot long or whatever. With, and you can see, that's when you can really see their teeth. <laughs> Makes you want to go out in the ocean, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at all that time I spent out in that water yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Move along, little guy. Pardon me? It's a houndfish, part of, like kind of like a needlefish. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah. That's a good that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow. You about to let him back out now? Yes, sir. Okay. There we go. Oh, he's struggling a little bit. He got hog tied. So, oh, there he goes. <laughs> 
Is that another one right there? Yes, I think so. Hey! <laughs> what the? Hey! By the way, man. I don't know what is. He's a little discombobulated. I, there he goes. <laughs> All right, guys, I just hooked up on a mackerel, Spanish mackerel, keeper. I thought it was a big ladyfish. I didn't even worry about walking to shore because I've been, all I've been catching is ladyfish. I've been watching a guy down here while well, he's been catching her ladyfish. So I didn't think anything about it, but it was definitely a mackerel. I saw her spots, dark top, silver bottom. Next time I'll start walking to shore. <laughs> yeah, there are three, four, five of them right here. They're chasing you now. Mm-hmm. You like to eat your feet. Like to eat your, tickle your toes. Yeah, they like to tickle your toes, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. Fish on. There she goes. <laughs> no, be careful. Oh, just got away. That was a trout, I think. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like a trout. Might have been. This water's so clear. Isn't it amazing? What? Isn't it amazing how clear this water is? Oh, there we go. Got a fish on. Here we go. Yeah, that's a good one. Got him on, sir? Uh, yep. Careful, care. I don't want to get you. Careful. It's a mackerel. You got a mackerel! Oh. Mackerel. Look at that, guys. It's a little old mackerel. <laughs> nice. Oh, that. that looks like a keeper too. That's so cool just catching mackerel from the beach. That's our, I think it's first for us. It is. And I uh, I know I had oh, I know I had one other one. I saw it, but then the other one mm -hmm. uh, another one broke my line. So. Before you take him on the hook, I want to measure him over here. Oh, we have yeah. a little measuring thing. Yeah, he's like oh, yeah. yeah, he's way long enough. Let me rinse yeah, just that. throw him in there, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. just throw him in there for now. Sweet. Oh. All right, nice job, Pops. Mackerel from the beach. Guys, there are dolphins all over out there. I'm gonna get my drone out. I gotta get the drone. New drone here, so we'll see what happens. So check it out. It was a mama and a baby dolphin. Came in close, and they were just chilling with everybody. Just kind of checking things out. The waters were very smooth. There's a lot of bait around, so I don't know if she's teaching them how to hunt or what, but you'll see them cruising through the schools of fish. You can faintly see the schools of fish there. And they were just chilling with all the people, uh, very comfortable with all the people uh, paddling over and looking at it. In fact, they seemed to be kind of having fun, playing around. And they came in real shallow here where people were just standing, kind of checking everything out. It was so cool. Everybody was having a blast on the beach. And this dolphin is going through, and I'm guessing it's just cruising through all the fish. You see all the fish parting around it, and uh, any stragglers, any ones that don't get out of its way, it probably eats them. It's probably just a way to feed. And uh, right here, this little kid was so excited to get this close to the dolphin. I actually saw him afterwards. He came up to me and was like, did you see how close I was? He was so excited. And then they just cruised on down the beach and look how much bait there was in the shallows. I mean, they could eat as much as they want. You just see the fish partying around them. Like I say, probably any like ones, weak ones that couldn't get out of the way, those are the ones they just gobble up. Such a beautiful time in the panhandle. And then you can see a big fish here doing the same thing the dolphin's doing, just cruising through the clouds of bait fish and then check this out when I kept the drone still you can see the schools of fish moving down the beach and that's why you can have a bunch of lines out and not be catching anything and then all of a sudden they all go off at once I thought that was cool to see a kind of a time lapse of that well my friends a beautiful morning out here but as you can see the beach is getting quite crowded and uh, we're gonna pack it in for now decide what we want to do next all right my friends we are at spot number two. We just, oh, Pops, look, right there. Whoa, mullet, mullet all over the place. You see him? Guys, all right. I, I did not plan that. I did not plan I did not know there were like a school of mullet right there. I was just like gazing out over the over the bay. Guys, so uh, the beach is over there. We decided to come to the bay side to hopefully turn our luck around. I mean, it was cool. Yeah, Pops, he's just cruising right there. I mean, guys, it was super cool to, to catch the various fish, see the dolphins and stuff, but we still don't have anything to eat. So we're gonna come to the bay side, hopefully get nice throw pops. 
Um, we thought let's, I, I haven't actually fished the base side here in the Florida Panhandle. I see a bunch of them. Sweet, oh, mullet, 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 yes. All right, I think this, now, now we're cooking. I mean, I'm seeing visions of redfish and who knows all well, what. And you can see the difference in water clarity. Um, there's a mullet right there uh, here versus the beach side. But if the fishing is better on the base side, um, that might be the ticket. Now, what's this? I'm gonna walk over to this yeah, dock. dock. Yeah, I'll let you take care of the cast net thing. Let's explore this dock because I envision sheep's heads swimming around the stanchions. Is this just like a beat up dock? Guys, sometimes I think that. Look at that, it's all just mangled, messed up. Um, it's abandoned. It's just abandoned, yeah. I think that maybe hurricanes take these out and then the city hasn't rebuilt them yet, I guess. If there are any people who live here, if you could enlighten us. Check that out. Oh, what? Well, that's... Night fishing or something? Yeah, it not see it. laying right on top of the grass. Yeah. Cool, that's a good find. Yeah. We'll see if that comes into play later. That'd be cool that there's like catch a fish on, it, on a lure that you found. We've located another school. You guys see that disturbance right there? Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. Oh, shoot. Some turning that way, that's right. Oh, you got something. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got something. A couple, I see a couple. I want to see what these are. These are different than the mullet. Oh, look, but the mullet stayed there. Look, look at all of them. Yeah, look at the pinfish. Oh, yeah, a bunch of oh, little baby pinfish. Yeah, all right, just dump them out on the beach okay. and I'll grab them. And then I would say grab that yeah. school of mullet right there while they're hanging out. Look at that. Look at one of all these little, yeah, just little pinfish. Tons of them. You kidding me? Look at that for bait. Oh, this guy's. Look at that. All right. You just got right on top of them? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, yes. I, th oh, those are more. I think we have enough now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pinfish fish and more. Sweet. Boy, we have enough bait for, bait for days. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Nice All right, Pops. This is what I'm talking about. He almost got away. Sweet, a bucket full. We'll put them in the, uh, the proper yellow cooler with a bubbler and all that. All right, uh. Let's figure out where we're going to fish now. Just going to set it right up on the mm -hmm. water's edge, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Perfect. All right, my friends, check the spot out. So, we can back the truck up right to the edge. This is like an old launch ramp. Um, yeah, old launch ramp, abandoned rocks right here. Looks great. I see mullet jumping out there. We got some pile of things right there. Hopefully, get some sheep's head or something. So, all right, I need volunteers. I thought one might jump out. <laughs> oh, two. Both of them want to go. I think right through the lips. And there we go, live mullet. Oh, got him right by that stand, by the old piling. Not too close though, where you can get tangled up in it, but if there's a fish hanging out there, check the drag, that fish will feel the vibrations. Let's see, I've never really fished for my truck, but I think right here is a good spot. Bam, just like so. Cool. All right, so me ancient's got a bobber on there. Sinker and a little pin fish. Oh, juicy. What is it? A ray, I think. A ray? I believe so. Keep them away from the... Oh, I may have reel in my... Oh, oh shoot! It what came up. Oh. And it, it was either a ray or a flounder. It was flat. It was uh oh when I was reeling it in. When I was, as I was reeling it in. Shoot! Put some sunscreen on my bald head here. 100 SPF. Before I get too distracted. What you got? That's a big croaker. It's a big fat croaker. That is one of the biggest croaker I've ever seen. Well, it's edible. Almost looks like a snapper, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Uh, you know, the 
I, I wonder if it's in the redfish family because it looks, you know, like the head shape and mouth shape yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I think we should try it. Yeah, let's give them a go. Sweet. Oh man, you can hear them. They're croaking away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it in real slow. Okay. I wonder if that's had some, because I got bit, you know, yeah, on my, kind of yeah, the pinfish, yeah. so. There you go. My dad has another one. Sweet. Is it? It's another Is big it another croaker. croaker? Uh-huh. Listen to him. Croaking like a, like a frog. Wow. So we got mack one mackerel, two croaker to eat. We're yeah. just kind of eating whatever we catch, folks. Right <laughs> Seafood medley and in the salt water everything tastes so good. All right, pin fish on this one, live mullet on this one. Actually, you know, I'm changing it to a cut mullet. You see that? Oh, and I missed it. How the heck did I miss it? Holy mackerel! It's tough pickles for me, folks. This is a this is hard. Not having a good good day. I've like missed like seven fish or something. This is insane. Look at that. Even had the bait on there. Hook exposed. Nothing I can do. Right, friends, missed seven bites. Oh, for seven bites so gotta go get something to eat otherwise I'm gonna start breaking furniture and destroying buildings and throwing people around um, and uh, then we'll be back this evening and hopefully there'll be a hot evening bite the tide tide is actually starting to turn uh, right about now and start to come in so should be good for the evening all right my friends we are back out here and uh, the sun's going down but the tide's coming in I missed seven bites in a row when you miss seven bites in a row you just stop what you're doing and you say I'm hanging it up for a while and I'll come back out otherwise you're gonna start doing bad things so but we still have the bait we're just gonna set everything back up again and for the last hour it's one hour almost exactly till sunset oh yeah I got fish yeah you got a fish oh it just came off it just was just like I, I thought I had a bunch of seaweed mm -hmm. did you have a good time last night Andy I've had better why don't you ask me what kind of a time I had I can guess. Go ahead and ask. Oh, boy. Ask, ask, ask. What kind of time do you have? Rotten. <laughs> you asked, I told you. Rotten, rotten, rotten. Nope, missed him. What in the heck? What so, is that? I, I have no... I wonder if there's a type of fish out here that we're missing or something. Yeah. It's not like we're doing anything wrong. Caught a million fish this way. This is just strange, guys. This is the... These are the highs and lows of fishing. On the plus side, it's a beautiful evening. It's calm. It's like 75 degrees. Like that's really good Florida weather. When you get a 75 degree day, that's amazing. A plus. Gone. Yeah, that really summarizes the day right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Big piece of trash. <laughs> At least no, I hooked that one, huh? You know, it was like, it's like hot, the highs and the, like, it was cool when you're casting it and all those fish. And it's like, we just totally, it's not every day, guys, you get a big cooler full of live fresh bait like that. And, uh, and then we just totally whiffed on the main event kind of thing. The bubbler is still going strong. Those batteries have like a thousand hours of life on them. Hey, you. Yeah, he just opened his mouth. He was like, really, for me? Here you go. Little piece of mullet there, if you want it. Ate it so quickly. Wow, I feel like there are just sheep's head and flounder to be caught around those standards. 
maybe a different tide or something. We'll have to come back to this spot, guys. But uh, unless something happens in the next few minutes, folks, I guess we'll see y'all out on the pier tomorrow. <sighs> Look who came back. my friends another beautiful day out here <laughs> Virk old man Virk um, <laughs> got a gorgeous morning and we're gonna fish off this pier which is the longest pier in the Gulf of Mexico how about that over a quarter of a mile long over a quarter mile long apparently you can catch deep sea fish off at like a pelagic fish and stuff not that I expect to do that like catch a sailfish but People have done that off this pier before. It goes out so far and it's such good fishing. So, let's see what happens. On a jig too. Oh yeah, on a gotcha rig. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what we have. Are you bouncing that up off the bottom? I guess. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's cool. That's very cool. Oh man, I'd love to catch a big flounder. Oh man. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a squid. Oh, look at the red. What? Who is, is this? this? yours? Look at that three slot redfish. Those are nice. Three big <laughs> redfish. Whoa. Dang. Nice. Hold out the red carpet for me. Look, they got something. What is going on here? Number 10. Must be something going on here, guys. Look at all these people. I'm going to sneak in here and look. Oh, big redfish. Are these all redfish down here? Yeah. Good grief. Mine's on the end. It's close, Gary. Yeah, I'm gonna take him, I'll take him. You just hitting baits right now, or what? Like I got. That's number 10. <laughs> I mean, that uh, this morning? Yeah. Number 10 this morning? <laughs> what? How many did you lose over the past week, though, Gary? I know, but I don't know. <laughs> That's today. I told you it was past week, too, now. Somebody with eyeballs, because my eyeballs won't tell me if that's legal or not. Pinch that tail together. Look at that. A little over 27. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we got a pair of Nemo's pliers. Oh, <laughs> I, I got them right here. I don't know what I'm thinking. I got them right here. <laughs> We could just clip some of the tail off. I have a it's big shear. Ah, quarter inch! Mm. <laughs> quarter inch! You leave it on ice for about three Yeah, minutes. I take some scissors. Cut the tail off! Take some scissors. You get that on camera? Yeah. Cut the tail off. You got one? Nice, dude. Oh, sweet. Do you mind being on YouTube video? Ace? Yeah, are you a oh, subscriber? Yeah. Yes, I'm definitely a subscriber. Oh, cool. This is perfect timing. I'm a very big fan. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> nice, dude. Video, man. There you go. Look at the other one swimming around with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's. We got a oh. net. Yeah. Uh, my dad has a pure net if he's coming. I don't know if he's. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, pleasure to meet you too, man. Thanks for watching. I'm glad I showed up right at now. Dude, that looks like a slot one. It might be. It might be. Do you want them? Uh, you know what? Uh, let's lay in them first and then I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, he's, here comes. I'll take it if you don't mind. Yeah, well, go ahead. All right, all right. I'm just all right my man, friend. You know? <laughs> don't go there. All right, my friend. Let's do this. Pure net. Oh, wait. Ouch, that burned my fingers. All right. All right. There we go, got him. Nice, nice dude. Oh, dude, he might be, man. Oh, he's legal. He, oh, oh nice dude. Right <laughs> Sweet. It's going to be in a video? Yeah, it's going to be, we're filming oh, right now. Go. Oh, there you go. Nice dude. I think that's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, your dad is calling you back. Oh, awesome. You can oh. just accept it. All right, I'll press accept it. Put on speakers. Hello? Hey, buddy. I just caught a redfish. 
Oh, nice. You got another one? Yeah. I'm about to take a picture. Pictures? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. All right. Love you. Love you, bud. Bye. Uh, hold it out just a little bit. Make it look as big as possible there. Right now we're cooking. Nice, dude. Hold it's the pinch yeah. that too. Yeah, hold it there. Alrighty. He's yeah, there. He's 25, man. Right, just a tad over. Sweet. That's one. Absolutely. Filipino wife. <laughs> Here's your phone too. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Oh, oh like nice. Wow. <laughs> Sweet. Man. They're on fire right now. What'd you catch them on, dude? Oh, I caught them on a live pinfish. I think I have another like, one. Oh, nice. I hate Sweet. Actually, yes, my grandmother would love one. <laughs> <laughs> Another slot. We ain't got a check. He's legal. Alright, guys, with the sabiki here, I'm going to try to catch some bait fish to use for these redfish. So, I have a crazy idea. What if we went back to that spot where you cast it and stuff? Got fish. a bucket of bait because as the, the, a kid just one of the subscribers just told me he said man if you have like a cigar menu or whatever you have the right bait he said it's like five seconds and you catch one if we had a bunch of those little pinfish and mullet I mean they, they love us, mullet you know, yeah. it would be good for all day yeah we've got what another three hours while the tide comes uh huh I, I think that would be worth going all the way to there all right my friends we're back at the spot pops I see the mullet the school of mullet right down there all right guys we're gonna try to catch some bait. I think it's gonna be worth it if we come all the way. I mean, the beach is all the way over there, but we drove to this side because we feel like if we get some mullet, it'll be fairly easy to catch a redfish, knock on wood, so. Nice, I think you got some. Come on over, kid. You wanna grab the bucket? Oh, sure. I wanna see. Oh, yes. Nice throw, Pops. Nice throw. Got a bunch of them. Yes. All right. Oh, thank you guys. Gathering them all up. All right. Sweet. All right. All right, then we have this thing that we're going to put them in. And it'll help keep Watch this guy throw the snake thing. Watch him throw the net. Oh, thank you, my friend. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of them. Will you help? <gasps> we got oh, a needlefish. Cool needlefish. You'll like this. Hmm? Oh, you will like this. Oh, it's a swordfish. Yeah, kind of like a swordfish, isn't it? Cool. There you go. Yeah. What does that look like where we're from? It looks like a gar, does it? Like a gar, does it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll let him go back. Let me pick him up. He's got all his teeth are like little needles. Lots of little needles. They'll cut you so fast. They come. There we go. There he goes. Wow. <laughs> Look at these guys. Yeah. You want to put them in the basket for him? This is kind of small. And this one. Yeah, that one can go back. He's so small. We'll not. We won't use him for bait. You want to throw that one in the um, ocean, Lakeland? Yeah, pick him up, throw him back. Oh, wrong oh, one. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Just a second. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, that was such a good throw. A bunch more, young man and young lady. Mm. Yes, look at the bait. Oh, that is. There's a fish with spikes on it. Oh, wow. Got three of them. Three there. more mullet. That's what these are called. All right, pick them up. See, there's one right behind you. <laughs> you gonna pick one up, Lakeland? No. There we Take go. Here oh. we go. Can you throw them in there? there. Thank you, my wow. friend. Wow. All right. You're gonna open it for us. Oh, take those latches off there. There we go. And the other one too. What are those? Sounds? Thank you. What are those sounds? Those are, uh, those are bubbles that the fish can breathe. It puts uh, oxygen, oxygen in the water there. 
Uh, we've got, I think we've, we've got 10 or 12 mullets, so. What kind of dragonfly? Whoa! That is nice job, my friend. Whoa. Let him free so he can fly away. Oh, he actually flew away. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think we've got enough bait, pretty much. I, I don't think so. Oh, I see a little croaker in there. Thanks, guys, for letting them participate. Oh, you're welcome. A nice little treat we didn't intend. <laughs> my wife and I have five kids, so I know what it's like. Oh, awesome. <laughs> for letting Ten or twelve. Mm -hmm. you. You're welcome, man. See y'all. It was good to meet you. I hope your YouTube video is wonderful and that it, you have huge success with that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate I've, that. Known, um, I've only met one person who actually made that dream come true, and it's just wonderful. Oh, thank you. So you can do something you like to do and spend it with your family. Yes, fish with my dad. Yeah. Uh -huh. I yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Look at that, guys. Oh, oh, hey. I'll shut it real fast. Anyway, look at all the bait, guys. You can see that. <laughs> all right, let's go. Back to the pier. You have a good chance of pompano here, too. Sure. And I, I don't know. Are those redfish? That's what the guy said. I, are those redfish out there? Oh, those are. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Here's another. The guys were working quick. They are coming closer. Oh, it looks like this. Guys, you see that? All right, so there's a shark right over there. And he's like kind of corralling the redfish. Hopefully they come a little closer where my bait is, but they're definitely coming this way. Oh man, this is exciting. These guys casting their baits right in there. Yeah, they're definitely coming closer. Let me make one poke in the stomach. Nah, I don't think that matters. There we go. All right, good luck, sir. All right, guys, my dad is gonna, he's gonna chase him down the beach chase the redfish and he's gonna try to walk out in front and cast in front of him we'll see if he can do it yeah hopefully yes yeah me and my sister watch your videos oh cool what's your name jace jace nice to meet you jace cool <laughs> he loves your videos he oh, them all the time. oh thank you thank you I, I like megan what are your favorites uh a lot of the time i watch like cute challenges like three days oh, the three day oh every those are everybody's favorites yeah eating only a catch for three days well, i appreciate you watching yeah it's cool for me too see you man Thank you so Jace, much. All right. thank you, sir. Good luck. Maybe see you guys out here again. So this part I didn't explain real well because there's so much going on on the pier. But basically, my bait was dying, and one of the fishermen right beside me offered his bubble box uh, for some of the mullet. And then eventually he found that he had oh, one of the extra thank pieces you. You. That, that I needed because the disperser on my bubble box got crushed but he had an extra one, so he gave me his, and in return, I gave him some live mullet, and it worked out real well, as you will see here. So he got some live bait, and then I revived as much as I could the rest of the bait, and that was a key factor. Oh man, oh man, they're getting... This is crazy fishing here. They're right among my line. What's that? So I think they're right out there with my line. Now, I don't want to cross anybody. If I, if I just flip it right down there, isn't anybody's line down there? I got, got him, got him. I got one. He's going under the pier. I got a redfish, guys from that school. I gotta tighten my drag just a little. You got his head up? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, yes. Do you have a period? Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Oh, oh this one might be a slot, too. Oh, it took a while, but... Uh, certainly did. Live mullet. There's one more live one in your in your thing there in your cooler there too. I'm sorry. Get him! Yes! Woo! All right. I right. Told you I'd live want to do it, man. <laughs> you did. He, I saw him just kind of slowly swim right over. Oh shoot! There he goes the mullet. Oh. 
Am I over? No, no, no. I think you're in slot. I'm in slot. Oh, it's going to be why? tight, but I think you're no, in the slot. I think you're just perfect. Oh. My tap fish there is about 20, 28. All yours. Thank you, sir. And a half. Thank you, sir. Let's see how close I am. You're right, yeah. <laughs> He's been fishing a while. If he, yeah, yeah. because I think he's right. I think he's spot he's on. Or back there. yeah, he's watching from all the way. Yeah, he's he's like almost 28 inches long. Dang it! Right at 28. Yeah, yeah, about 28. Yes, sir. Oh well. You see enough of him, you get pretty close. Uh huh. Yes. Well, guys, wow. a little uh, about one inch over the slot That's a limit. Bummer. Have to be under 27. So. Throw him back. Look at him go. Bam! Took off. He's Very angry. Cool. Angry fish. This one's going to be close too. Did you catch him on that mullet? That, yeah. uh, oh, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. That is amazing how you switch it when it's live. It's just so much more effective. Along, man. That one's that was you. If he'll make, that one's all you. Oh, I appreciate that. Of course. Thank you. It's just you can only keep one, isn't it? The one per person. One per person. So, so you and dad can have one. Okay. Let's Thank you. Got. All right, guys, my dad. There's a fisherman down here that loans us this. That loaned us this ruler. Pinch this out. Oh man. Oh, I think he's in it. I think he, he is. There's yeah. 20 cents. He's in. He's in, yeah, he's, he's 26 right and a half, line. right on the line. There you go. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. I appreciate oh, that. Thank you. <laughs> you, know. Let's see, we're gonna, you just set him in there for now. We're going to get ice in a minute. The place is real close. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Shared a few mullet, <laughs> and we got two reds. Excellent. <laughs> hey guys, look, while all that was happening, another big school of bait has moved in. This is just amazing. This is cool. Bob's, it's the live. Every time we switch to a live mullet, because I, I loaned him one, or let him have one, and uh, he, uh, he caught that one. Two left in here, so. Yes, sir. Do you have your redfish for the day, or are you still looking for it? I don't, yeah. I'm still. You got him? Again, yeah. he's got him. <laughs> nice. Another redfish, my friends. This is so cool. Wow. This is so cool. He's getting the pier net. Nice one. Boom, got him. Got him, nice. Oh, look at that. Woo! Yes, sir. My dad's with me. You know, um, the woman in the purple really wants one, I think. Okay. Is it a good? Is it keeper? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Look at her. He, guys, he, he gave her that. He gave her the redfish. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Whoever's is that? I am free of you. Yes. I needed a retie anyway. Hey, I know you. Do you get? Oh, hey. Ace fishing? Yes. Oh my god. This is where I watch all the time. He, he always goes fishing around here. Oh, cool. He What's fishing. your name? What? What's your name? Peyton. Peyton. Nice to meet you, Peyton. Oh my gosh, you call redfish? That's awesome. Yes. Uh, do you want our, our leftover bait? That would be nice. Sweet. Do you have a cooler or anything like that that you oh, want? Oh, yeah, right here. Right all right, perfect. I've been, oh, a I've few been are alive. Some of them, are, most of them are dead. But, We've yeah. That's fish a little pinfish? Mm -hmm. And some mullet. You gotta get the waters out first. You gotta... Dude, I'm subscribing to everything. I love your. Oh, thank you. It inspires you. me to fish so much. Okay, cool, cool. I appreciate it. Cool, man. Good luck, man. All right, good luck. Hopefully, see you again out here. All right, guys, right about there, my friends. Should be good. So sweet. I think this is going to work out. All right, my dad's getting out a fishing rod, folks. I tried to park my truck on a fairly flat area for the cooking. And uh, we have here some friends that we met. When my dad and I came out the first day we were here, we started scouting and we just like hit a bunch of spots. This is one of the spots we hit and these guys were parked here. And at first I didn't want to roll up on them, but then I realized, wait a second, I've met them before. So, dude, what's your name? Connor. Connor, all right, yes, Connor. So uh, Connor's gonna be out fishing. While I'm cooking, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. 
uh, so you can see if you, you kind of flounder right before we rolled up. Yep. Right. So and Connor and what was your name again? Devin. Devin. All right. Devin. Devin and Connor. They're fishing. So if they catch something, we'll pause the cooking and uh, check out what they've got. Oh, and the heron is back. Our heron friend. So. All right. And then Mh is gonna fish too. And I shall cook. Oh, I got one more thing here. We got all the kinds of bait from earlier that we had cast in it. Connor? Yep. If you want any kind of mullet or pinfish, we've got a bunch of yeah. them. So, yeah. If any of you guys want, just Heck yeah. we're just probably just going to release them at the end. So I'm take us. going to throw a pinfish on the big rod and see if it's up. Sweet. Sweet. All right, my friends, got cooking stuff here and uh, in the back of the truck. Check this out. Got like, what do I want? We got got this brand new thing, Slap Your Mama Fish Fry. Never tried that before. You know, well, since I have guests now, I think I need to keep it kind of mild. And for this second time, I'm going to use my brand new Jet Boil. That. Hey, the little robot R2. How's it going? Sweet. I love how big this thing is. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to cook more elaborate recipes with this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too, man. All right, everything's set up and ready to go. We just need our fish. Clean him real quick. He's been on the ice. here one thing you know, like these big fish they're usually pretty easy to clean Look at that steak. All right, guys, watch this. Bring it right over the cutting board and lay it on there. And I'm going to, let's see, how big? I think I'm going to have to go, like, chunks like this big. So we're going to make little fish sliders. All right, so these are all fillets. I'm going to touch up later, folks. You know, I'm not. I'm going to actually make one more chunk. I would rather have two money sandwiches. They just said their friend is coming. So sounds like I'm cooking for a bit of a group here. There we go. Plenty of fillet chunks it was really cool how it all worked out today on the pier folks with the guy um helping me fix my bubble box <laughs> and then i got to uh hey how's it going what's going on man connor said that one of his friends is showing up by the way i'm gonna use some sassy q's island rub given to me by a subscriber to amp up the uh amp up the uh flour and a little popcorn salt mix this around a lot of friendly people here in Florida, that's for sure. It's kind of a place where Southerners congregate. And Southerners are already very hospitable. But then, when they're all on vacation, they're really, really hospitable. Hey, how y'all doing? What's up? Ace! What? Another subscriber? Holy crap, man. How are you doing? You're just in time for some I cooking, dude. I watched your videos, man. Oh, cool. Look, I'm getting ready to cook up. Uh, redfish. If you're down. I looked, I was like, look like Ace. <laughs> I've seen that. That's crazy, man. Cool, man. I ever thought you'd be in Florida. Yeah, I come here, try to come here. Why is there... Yeah. What is going on? Oh, what the? Look, there's the instructions, folks. Oh, my goodness. There are the instructions. What the? I, well, I just burned up my instructions. I didn't need them anyway. <laughs> they must have been stuck to the bottom of the pan. But you guys almost witnessed a disaster. <laughs> All right. No, I'm leaving this in. You're subscribed now? Oh, thank you. But you watched before. Yes, I've, I watch all. Do you mind being in a video? I don't care. You guys are just in time. Really, literally just about to start cooking up. Subscribe. Subscribed. Oh, sweet. Excellent. I'm a bit more. I've been subscribed for like two years. <laughs> all right. I'm subscribed. Is that your channel? I'm pretty sure it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Just like 
there. And in classic form, I forgot, um, yeah, I forgot a part of this, and that is tongs. Any tongs in here? Look at these potato rolls. We've got everything for making little fish sandwiches. But I did forget the tongs, so I'm gonna have to just use these. Jess, you should come down here to fish? Or just... Uh, we're digging holes. Dig holes. You're digging holes, of course. Okay, sorry. So you just digging. So... so, so soft on Buddy over here, and we just show up, and we're like, a blue raptor? Wait, hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cook a lot of fish because now I'm adding guests. It was gonna be my dad and I, and now it's, uh, then we added two more, and it looks like we just added three more random subscribers, so. <laughs> Is it weird to see me in real life? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'll bet. I'll bet. <laughs> I'm gonna make some sandwiches out of these if you guys are. Down. Look, they look like little mini sandwiches. Oh, they're sliders. Little sli exactly. Fish sliders. How many people do we have? So we have one, two, three. That guy over yonder. One, two, three, four, five, Evan. Six, seven. Evan, you want a fish slider? They're gonna be delicious. All right, they're minis. I I would look at these. Have to cook look at this. All right, so I've added mayonnaise to a bunch of these, but I also have some Wowie dipping sauce, and uh, that should be good. And then we'll get a little lettuce. I'm gonna make some of these full-throated and some of these not. Do you know uh, Marlon Bates? Yeah. Uh, I don't know him personally, but I know the YouTube channel. I watch him a lot. Uh, I wanna get one of his lures. I contacted him once about him, him and I collaborating, and he just never responded. I actually contacted him twice, because I had this really cool video idea. Yeah, this is turning into a, this is going to be a fun feast. A bunch of people get to test my cooking. Glad you guys showed up. Alright. I'm going to take these filet chunks, guys, and stick it right there in the sandwich. Just like so. All right, check it out, folks. A bunch of sliders with lettuce and tomato and mayo. And I have here some Wowie dipping sauce, which my friends in Louisiana told me about and I had some down there. Oh, it's a brand new bottle, so it's still... <laughs> mm -mm. Good man, why was that so hard? There. Good grief. They really didn't want anybody breaking into that thing. All right, so we're putting some Wowie sauce right there for everybody to dip into. All right, guys, y'all want to try some fish, fried redfish? You know what? Let me flip this little. I cooked a croaker just to see. I got a huge croaker. Want to see how it would taste? And uh, anyway, so what we have here are some sliders, and they have lettuce, tomato, mayo on them. But then I have one here that's just like just mayo, and then one that has nothing on it, in case anybody doesn't like mayo. And then here are just random fish pieces. And that's Wowie sauce. It's delicious on fish. So if you're feeling adventurous, you want a sandwich, and if you just want some fish, go for it. So dip in. Take what you want. What was, what was your name? Evan. Evan, nice to meet you, Evan. I'm Ace. So. Say a prayer real quick. Say a prayer. Okay, we well, usually say grace whenever we're out. If that sounds good to you guys. Thank you so much, Father in Heaven, for our food and the way you provide it from the ocean. And thank you for this time with these fellows we get to know. And I just appreciate this day we have in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right. Everybody get... Today. Hey, you want a piece? Yeah, I'll take one. Now, that's the plain one. Do you want something with a lettuce tomato on it? Yeah. Yeah, you grab that. Yeah, yeah one of those right there. Can't see anything. <laughs> it's kind of dark. That one. Thank, thank you. you. Sweet. I didn't know if you guys were... Now, do you want lettuce tomato on one? I'm all good. You're all good? You don't want any fish? No. Nah, Are you sure? Okay. All right. Wait, wait. Just a tiny. Just what? Just one nah. tiny piece. On, no, on. you're good. <laughs> I don't like fish. Okay. You guys want to dip your sandwich in any Wowie sauce? It's really good in fish. You just dip it right in there. We're all friends here. It's good. You guys like it? Excellent. Let me try some more fish. I have as much as you want. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. Excellent. A little redfish slider. 
That's kind of a first. That is a first. What do you think, Pops? Oh, that is a good if you need to add more meat to it, I tried to make them good, mm -hmm. thick little sandwiches. Yeah, they were, it really was. Got right, the wildy sauce. I'm about to grab a piece and I'm going to shove it <laughs> into your mouth. <laughs> you want to bet? I will shove it into your mouth. The area. This is uh, my front door today. Wait, bears in oh, Florida? Yeah. Yep. This is in front of my oh, house. Replay that one. My dad just literally. Sideways. My dad just sent me this. Let's see if we can hear. There we go. What a bear in Florida! Are you kidding me? That's huge. They're, I mean, that's that's big for yeah black bear. I've never seen a bear in front of our house before, actually. Like my dad, uh, he was sitting in his garage, and his neighbor set off their alarm on the outside. To let the bear to like run away. It was in the trash cans. It walked right up to my dad. He had sitting in the garage. Basically, the trash cans were sitting right next to the garage, and just like within five feet. That's my dad crazy. didn't even know till it was walking out of the driveway. Whoa! So was digging in the trash cans. That's just crazy. Watching, Bears watching, in like, Florida. Learn something. something every day. Well, guys, we're gonna cook up the rest of these fish and uh, pig out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being in the video. I'll send it to you guys when it's ready. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.